Hello and welcome to another tutorial uh, in Figma where we are going to create a drop down interactive uh, select input which is called basically a drop down and uh, let me show you okay so where was the drop down okay so I, I have to re-record this because the first time I recorded the mic was not turned on so it was a wasted time and effort so uh, this is the drop down component and let me show you the prototype how it actually works and we are going to create that similar effect okay so this is the whole state if you click over here home if you click on office it is going to switch to office now we are going to create that this interactive drop down uh, select input in figma so let's get started now there are two things you have to consider first. First is that you need to have your um, icons over here. So I'm going to use tabular icon and I'm going to use three icons. One is going to be for um, location. So this is basically location. So let's use this line style. I'm using line style. And then we are going to use home which is going to be let's use this simple one and then we are going to use office so this is going to be the third one okay so we have the icons now we uh, it's better if you convert them to uh, components so let's cre create a component because it will be easier to replace them when we are going to uh, use them okay so now now we are going to write some text over here and we are going to use auto layouts. So let's use location and shift A to create a frame. So it is going to be our item. Let's call it drop down. Let's call it item right now or not. Okay, so we have item and let's um, create an instance of this Okay, so you can create uh, use can command control D or you can use alt and drag to create an instance so I am going to use an instance uh, command and control X and I'm going to select this and I'm going to paste it over here so right now it is on the right side so I'm going to uh, move it up in the layers to have it on the left side now here we have the basic layout let's try to um, uh, make it more smaller this icon I'm going to press K and let's create make it 20 okay so this is good this is good okay so for this item let's use uh, on the left we are going to use 4 okay so this is the item let's try to give it a fill color to see how it actually looks okay so this is going to be our main item and uh, we need one more over here which is uh, the drop down select okay so here we got it so okay so we are going to use it inside it over here and again on the right side we're going to use four perfect I think four is a bit harsh so I'm going to use eight let's size it down it is looking very big you have to stay with me because it takes some time to create a nice drop down and everything okay so here we have the item now we are ready to create a component so let's create a component okay, so here we have the component so we are going to have a uh, few states for this component for that we we need one more okay so let's detach it detach instance and this is going to be home the item of home so it is like home let's call it home or item one or two or something like that and replace this icon that is why I created these okay so here we have uh, the instance of the home let's replicate this and here we have office selected okay so 
for office state we are going to use office over here the icon should be office icon building key so these are two selected states uh, this is going to be our default state so let's use a bit of gray color for this one like this uh, or you can also write over here like select location okay okay so uh, we have three selected and we we want one drop down okay so there must be a drop down state so let's move these below and we are going to replicate this again and let's uh, detach it and we are going to create another frame and inside that frame we will have these two okay so this is the item and let's move them between this okay so maybe we can just remove this and we are going to replicate both of them like this select both of them shift a and we are going to remove the space between them let's use zero okay and also we don't need these over here what is happening okay so this is centered so we need we want to have it on the left side and we we don't need these over here so we are going to hide them so this is the open drop down frame let's call it dropped dropped let's call it dropped for now okay so these are selected states and this is going to be our dropped state and uh, if we click on on it we can have some maybe shadow around it that would uh, make it a bit more realistic so let's have a shadow and i'm going to increase the blur keeping it to 10 percent let's use a four and let's use two over here uh 10 percent that is good okay good enough so um if you want to have rounded corners you can set the rounded corners or, or on all of them but right now i'm going to go with square okay so uh let's get started uh, i think we forgot one thing which is going to be um the items inside which is going to be the hover state and um, these are all selected states so uh, what you can do is um, okay, so we can have some hover state of these two so we need hover state of these two so before oops before making them components um, let's drag them over here okay let's let's remove this right now for right now and uh, first we, we want to have components for these two okay so one is going to be normal state this is going to be hover state okay so let's change the hover state to something else like maybe uh, having electric blue or something uh, like this and i'm going to reverse the colors um, reverse the colors to be white Okay. and similarly we are going to do the same for office uh, reversing the colors the background and for this one i'm going to go with white okay so we have two states this is going to be office forward okay great so now we are going to create a uh, component set create component set for this one and also for this one so we have home and office component sets now we are going to prototype them because we need a hover animation so selecting this dragging it to the hover state or while hovering and we are going to use dissolve uh, let's use gentle or maybe quickly I think let's use quickly now and for this one again the same 
while hovering and dissolve and quick okay great now what we want to do is we want to um, use these instances over here for the hover effects okay so these are already set now we want to combine both of them let's switch to back to design shift a and let's remove the space between them this is going to be the dropped down state and we we want to have some shadow around it uh, let's use a shadow light shadow and I'm going to set it to 10% blur is going to be 4 and I'm going to set it to 1 okay, so this looks great okay so I'm going to move it closer to this one because this is how it will look like Mm, either like this or what do you say if we move it a bit far like this so how far it is four pixels okay this is great this is great now we are going to select both of these and we are going to create a component this is going to be uh, item item state dropped and this is again another component this is again another component we are going to combine them into variants uh, okay so let's select all of them and we have a button over here combine as variants press this and this is the magic this is our drop down animated select input all of them okay so now we have to test it for that we are going to press A and let's use iPhone 13 mini and we are going to use this drop down over here okay this is an instance before that before that before that let's we have to prototype it so I just forgot that we have to name them and prototype them so this is our variant so let's call it default state let's delete this one okay so let's delete this remove this so this is default let's call it the property state this is default this is dropped and this is home and this is office okay this is great and you can also call them home selected and office selected something like that now prototype them so once someone clicks over here there should be a drop down and on click we we want to have smart animate let's use smart animate now quick and now going into this one so if someone clicks on home it should be home if someone clicks on office it should be office okay so now let's try this out okay so we have an iphone mini background that is white let's use something like this this is just for you know just to understand the concept i'm not trying to you know uh, design a ui that is so cool and something like that okay so let's prototype this and let's try to use it Okay, so once you drop down, very lovely, very nice effect. So you can see I can do it all day long. Okay, so selecting home. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so we, we haven't selected something to go back. So let's do that and it will work. So uh, once you click over here, it should again show you this drop down. Okay. And... Um, and also for this one so once you click over here it should again show you this so you can if if you want you can have more uh, you know states okay <laughs> I love this bounce effect this is looking really nice okay so this is what we are uh, we 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 would love to have in drop down okay so i think it is uh, smart it is due to smart animate and um, this is how you create an animated uh, you know smart drop down 
uh, and uh, you can use it in your uh, prototypes you can use them in your designs whatever you do so i hope you have enjoyed this lesson uh, i hope to see you soon in another video uh, make sure you like subscribe share this channel share this tutorial with your friends and family or whatever or whoever is learning i will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye